NASA is holding off on launching its crew to the ISS because right now it is struggling to decide if Boeing Starliner is fit to return two astronauts back home. The launch of Crew-9 has been pushed back to September 24th instead of August 18th because Starliner has been docked to the ISS for more than two months now. Starliner launched to the ISS on June 5th carrying NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams. This is the first crew test of Starliner but it is not going very well to put it lightly. Five of the spacecraft's thrusters failed on its way to the ISS in addition to Starliner sprouting five helium leaks. Since then, teams on the ground have been running tests on Starliner, but they still haven't figured out the root cause of the thruster failure. Although NASA initially kept reiterating that Butch and Sunny are not stranded on the ISS, it's kind of looking like they are, actually. The space agency is still debating whether to have its two astronauts ride on board Starliner for their journey back to Earth, or if it should reserve two seats on SpaceX's Dragon. Should a trip home aboard Dragon be necessary, it means that the two astronauts will have to stay on the ISS for six months instead of eight days, as was the original plan. The $4.2 billion Starliner program has been a hot mess from the start and it is only getting messier. And it's only going to add insult to injury if Butch and Sunny have to be rescued by Boeing's main rival SpaceX. NASA's two commercial partners have been contracted to transport astronauts to and from the ISS with their respective spacecraft. So far, SpaceX has delivered eight crews to the ISS while Boeing still remains in the testing phase. And now SpaceX is waiting for Boeing's problematic spacecraft to move out of the way so that it can launch its ninth crew. As of right now, there's no official word of how and when they're gonna get back home. So Boeing, you better get your shit together.